Hello, I'm Dr. Gerald Chodak. So you've had your treatment of cryotherapy and your PSA went down and is now coming back up. What do you do about it? Well, first, be aware that we are still unsure about the real benefits of cryotherapy at this time. One of its main advantages has been the ability to repeat it. Unlike radiation or seed implantation, if the cancer occurs, you can't repeat those treatments. But in a man that's had cryotherapy, he can undergo that treatment once again. The only downside really is the cost of having the procedure repeated. Now, will it be an effective way to treat the cancer? That's unclear because it's unclear whether it works in the first place, let alone what you should do for a man that's had a recurrence. If you're considering having a repeat cryotherapy, make sure you undergo a prostate biopsy first so you can confirm that indeed there are prostate cancer cells still in the prostate. Because oftentimes a man who has a rising PSA after local therapy will have cancer cells somewhere else in the body. And so depending on your PSA level, you may want to consider the biopsy of the prostate, maybe consider a bone scan or a CAT scan when your PSA is moving above 10. Testing much before that value is unlikely to give any useful information. So, one of your options is to go ahead and have the, the procedure repeated. Another option is to consider having radiation treatment. There's no evidence at the present time that radiation after cryotherapy will have a significantly higher complication rate. Also, it's possible to undergo radical prostatectomy even though you've had the cryotherapy. Chances are it will be technically more difficult and there may be more complications because of scarring that has occurred from the previous freezing technique. Uh, but it is an option probably best suited for younger, healthier men, men in their 50s or 60, early 60s. Doing that treatment in men in their 70s probably isn't going to make the most sense. So you have a number of options for the rising PSA. You certainly can do it again, but again, there is this uncertainty whether it's doing the job. If it recurred after the first time, how likely is it to treat it adequately the second time? These are questions that need to be answered properly, but they have not been answered yet. The limited data that we have on the cryotherapy with the current techniques doesn't permit us to say for sure how effective it's going to be long-term or whether it's going to work long-term as a repeat procedure. So, with a situation of a rising PSA after cryotherapy, surgery can be considered, repeat cryotherapy, radiation therapy, seed implantation. Basically, almost all the, essentially all the same options that existed before still exist for a man in this situation. Thank you.